Good day everyone, my name is Senzedu Kabini and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel I'll be giving you insight on what it's like to be homeless, what it's like to survive the streets and what it's like to rehabilitate yourself back home once you've left the streets. I'll be doing this because I was also once homeless and I'll be giving you my experience and insight on that world that is largely discriminated upon. So today I'll be focusing on the question, why are the nails or the fingertips of homeless people so dirty? So why are their nails and fingertips so dirty and even hands as well, like the whole hand? Why do they appear to be so dirty? And so I'll be answering that question today. So the main reason why homeless people's hands, fingernails and fingertips are so dirty is because they do not touch water every single day. Did you hear that? I'll repeat it for you. The main reason why homeless people's hands and fingernails and fingertips are so dirty is because they do not touch water every single day. Now, I'm sure when you go through your daily schedule, you wake up, you probably go to the toilet. After using the toilet, you wash your hands. You take a shower. Whilst doing the shower, your whole body gets touched by water. You go to the kitchen, you prepare something to eat. You probably also wash your hands as well. So throughout the day, every single day, your, t your hands are, are literally touching water every single day. Now for someone that's homeless, who can't even go to a homeless shelter to just get a bed for free. It's impossible for them to then get a chance to shower or a chance to get their hands wet. Which then means their dead skin builds up on their hands. It builds up on their hands, at the back of their hands. It also builds up in their palms. And it also, there's dirt that builds up here underneath their nails as well. Do not touching water every single day. And that's how they end up having dirty hands. And also remember... If these homeless, homeless people are picking up cans for recycling or picking up plastic bottles or picking up cardboard boxes and then they don't wash their hands, all of that dirt remains on their hands, even underneath their nails. And that's also probably why you, <laughs> when you go and give them money, you don't want your hands to touch their hand because you can tell that their hands are dirty. You can tell that there's dead skin cells that have built up on their hands or behind their hands and they haven't touched any water. So their hands are literally ashy and it's just a build up of germs all over their hands. And that's why they end up looking dirty because of lack of water. That's why. Because if you have to go and pay 30 rand at the homeless shelter in order to just get a bed, it's impossible for you to then be able to take a shower or to be able to wash your hands. Yeah. And it's also impossible for you to even be able to use public bottles. And I'll make a video about that as to why homeless people in Durban, South Africa, find it difficult 
to use public bathrooms. You know those public bathrooms that are there at the beachfront on the promenade in Durban? Homeless people can't use those bathrooms. They can't even go there to wash their hands. They can't even go to those showers where you go and shower after you've been swimming in the ocean. They can't go use those showers as well. They are prohibited from using those showers. I'll be making a video on that so that you can learn more about why homeless people end up being so dirty. Just their hands. Never mind their whole body. Just their hands. Hands. They can't even go to a public bathroom to wash their hands. I'll be making another video on that. Anyway, please do like, share and subscribe. Please do comment in the comment section. Ask questions. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Shabbat.